Merry Christmas guys! It is Christmas day today. Today is the 25th of December. My mum is over Christmas. there. I feel like if you've been following me for a long time, you will know that we did this last year as well and it was so fun. We literally had the best time. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. This vlog is gonna be my Christmas vlog. As you guys can see, there's a Christmas tree right there. What else do you want? You guys know I'm not very Christmassy, but yeah, this will this will do it. Also guys, I sound a little bit lispy. I've got my retainers in, but yeah, I just thought I'll do my intro now before I get all excited about Christmas. I'm currently at my cousin's house. We are going to Enish tonight. So that should be fun. I feel like if you've been following me for a long time, you will know that we did this last year as well and it was so fun. We literally had the best time. Yeah, I'm just really excited to have a good time, have a few drinks, eat some food and just get myself in the mood for Christmas. But yeah, I'm really excited. Um, Shay's here as well. Hi guys, cutie. Don't you look so cute? Your makeup looks so nice. Thanks. Um, yeah, we're waiting for everybody else to be ready. For once, we're actually the ones waiting, so that's good. Uh, I think they're nearly ready, so yeah, we're gonna go soon. Um, yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> Hey guys, good morning. Literally slumped. Um, but yeah, my sister has guests. Our family friends are like downstairs. Yes, yeah, so I've showered and I've done like my hair to make it look nice and cute for you guys. I'm gonna go downstairs and say hello to everybody. But I'm just so tired. I'm just still in bed exhausted from last night but last night was so much fun it was so lit so today is the 24th it's christmas eve um yeah it's christmas eve today all the i feel like the kids are more excited for christmas than we are seeing the kids excited makes me excited if that makes sense so yeah i'm gonna go downstairs and chill and have some food have a cheeky drink who knows let's go and see merry christmas guys it is christmas day today today is the 25th of december my mom merry is over christmas. there <laughs> she still is over there Hi, merry christmas <laughs> guys we're just making our christmas roast this is the first time that we're actually making a roast for christmas usually we will have like nigerian food you know how it goes like jollof rice fried rice chicken and all that stuff but this time we are making a proper roast I like doing your bulls <laughs> the food is nearly ready um i've had a couple of drinks you guys already know girl <laughs> get all likes a drink but guys i'm not gonna lie next year no more casual drinking it's only when i go if i go out then i'll have a drink or two but i'm not gonna be drinking at home anymore you know you have to go out of that gotta be responsible now and actually be a proper adult that's the christmas tree so cute guys my sister put up a christmas tree obviously because of her daughter um i do not have a christmas tree in my house because you guys already know i'm not very christmassy so yeah she was so excited today i'm gonna insert a picture of her 
over here so you guys can see how excited she was also guys i posted on instagram so make sure you go and like my post okay hey. we love a blusher over here we love a good blush don't we but um guys the blush she's wearing is um ex1 and it's called love story that's the shade it's my favorite blusher um yeah i'm gonna show you guys the food when the food is ready guys food is ready oh my gosh that looks so good i cannot wait to get stuck in yum <laughs> Let anybody stain your white in 2024. <laughs> Guys, we're just getting ready for the crossover service. Today is the 31st of December. Over the last few days, I've just been like cleaning my house and just like trying to get my mind right for 2024. Yeah, I am at my mum's. Uh, we are going to church. Um, I'm ready on time. I'm waiting for my sister to finish getting ready and we will make our way to church i'm really excited to go to church <sighs> honestly for 2024 i don't have any goals i just want to be happy i just want to have everything with ease so i'm really praying and having faith that everything will go smoothly for me in 2024 because 2023 was horrendous so yeah i'm just i'm waiting basically maybe i should make a cup of coffee because i'm kind of tired guys my bedtime is like nine o'clock and we have to be in church for nine <sighs> well we don't have to be in church for nine we're just going early so we can actually get seats because you guys know if you go to church on on um, crossover service you know that a lot of people literally like try to get in even people that don't usually attend church will try to go yeah, we're gonna make our way now, so yeah, let's go to church, darling. <laughs> talking to you guys with my lips all crusty dusty musty so as you guys can see i'm back at home now today is the second of january uh so yesterday i spent the day with my mom and my sister and i just kind of spent the day just chilling with them um kind of thinking about what i want this year to look like if i have any goals i don't have any goals for this year my only goal this year is to be happy to love myself and just to pray more so if you didn't already know i'm like goals queen like every start of the year i always have like goals that i want to hit and like things that i want to do for the year and like i tick them off as the year goes by but this year i just thought a little bit different this year i just don't want to focus too much on goals instead i want to focus more on like just being at peace and just like loving myself and i feel like the reason why previous years is because i did have goals that i wanted to hit like buying my house saving goals and like just things that i wanted to do and now that i feel like i've done majority of the things that i've always wanted to do now i'm just like okay i need to kind of find a space where i'm grounded if that makes sense and like i want to be more emotionally grounded and i feel like that is something that obviously when you've spent a lot of time really really 
going in grinding and like at some point i had like four streams of income and like i just wasn't taking care of my mental so this year is all about like really really taking care of my mental health and like just making sure that i am happy and not putting other people before myself so yeah that is my goal for the year it's not really a goal but yeah um it's kind of like also kind of just taking it easy and like being a little bit more like less harsh on myself i feel like i'm very like hard on myself like my sisters tell me all the time like you're so hard on yourself like you need to chill out relax so this year that is what i plan to do um but yeah i just got back and i've literally been cleaning my dressing room like i've just cleaned out like where i put my wigs my hair accessories and like all my like um skincare products i took i took apart the stuff that i'm not gonna be putting on my face this year and kind of like putting all my new stuff and like i've just been cleaning and also i have a lot of pr packages that i really want to unbox but i am so hungry so i'm gonna go downstairs and make um a protein shake because i'm trying <laughs> i feel like you guys have been on this weight loss journey this weight <laughs> quote and unquote <laughs> this weight loss journey with me for so long i feel like I feel like every start of the year i always say this like oh, i'm gonna take it so seriously this year i feel like my mind frame is just so like i'm in between oh i want to hit my weight loss goal and like life is too short like why am i starving myself i need to eat and i don't even eat that much that's what annoys me about this whole situation like in my family i eat the least guys i had two eggs this morning and i haven't eaten this since then it is now 302 i haven't eaten i don't even eat that much and it annoys me like okay yes once in a while i'll like have a pizza or but who doesn't okay i love to eat out once in a while who does not i'm tired man towards the end of last year what i started doing is like if i know i'm gonna eat out i would starve my not starve myself but like i would eat less the day and then obviously in the evening if i know i'm going out then i would like obviously go out to eat so i just feel like ugh, it's just so hard like i'm really really trying now i'm skipping lunch and having a protein shake instead of like having food i don't know how long i can keep that up i'm not gonna lie to you guys because life is so short i just don't want to like deprive myself of the things that i love just because i'm trying to lose weight <sighs> anyway let's go let's go and make the protein shake shy. let's go hey guys oh gosh so i am downstairs now in my living room um i basically decided to not make the protein shake um i made this fs green thing <laughs> you guys are gonna laugh at me i feel like i'm slowly just becoming an auntie because this was sold to me on a flipping tiktok i'm even thinking to myself is it even safe to drink i think it is because like why would everybody be why would anybody promote it on tiktok this is fs greens and it's got like so many different things in it basically it's got 21 ingredients of like natural stuff like pineapple apple um, green tea, flaxseed, um, broccoli, kale, spinach. But this tastes like mango, so I got the mango one. Um, because it's just been all over my TikTok, basically. So I thought I'll try it. But I don't know if I actually notice a difference, if I'm being honest. I might just stick to taking vitamins. So, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm noticing a difference. But the thing is, I haven't actually taken it consistently. I think this is probably my fourth time taking it so what i'm gonna do is try to take it consistently and then see how i feel it's meant to be good for like bloating and like gut health and all of that stuff so we'll see how that goes i'm literally about to do some admin i got this weekly planner um from temu because i'm doing a collaboration with them um and i'm not gonna lie i found quite a few things that are quite useful on the website and like quite cheap it's kind of like using shein i guess but they just had a lot more stuff like this is what the planner looks like i love the way that it's so girly and just so cute and you can do like 
weekly goals i don't know if you guys can see that do like your weekly goals um to do list and then like it's got like a daily um thingy on the other side i just think it's so cute so i'm gonna start using this planner you guys already know every year i always have a planner this was the planner that i used oh my god i don't even want to look in it because journal my emotions as well or if i've had like a bad day i would write like this as well like just everything that i did in the day and i would like tick it all off and i'm sorry if i don't write it in my diary it's not happening because that's how i keep up with my life like how i know what i'm doing basically so yeah that's what i'm gonna do now i'm just gonna like write down a few things i want to do this week and tomorrow i'm gonna watch oh i've been watching sweet magnolias magnolias my life is insane i'm holding it sometimes isn't she <laughs> i know do you know why she was laughing because she knows she can't come with us to the restaurant that's why that's why she doesn't like indian food she's so annoying <laughs> but do you want pashwari naan or no more naan no, the normal, Peshwari Nana's raisins, ew. Oh, I'm going to get Peshwari Nana, because that's what I get. That's what oh, we used okay. to get. From oh, sure. That's what we used to get, Shay, you remember? Oh, no, really? From that place, it's like I nuts. It's like it's coconut. Like, you know, it's coconut, but I don't want raisins. This one, they, I don't think they put raisins in this one. And pack my stuff, I'll All see right. you soon. Bye. See Bye. Soon. Love you. Love you. Bye. Bye. Um guys my mum is so annoying so me and my younger sister were gonna go to an indian restaurant tonight and i was gonna get ready go there take pictures and stuff because it's quite nice um but the restaurant is permanently closed and i'm so so upset because the food there is so good and um so my mum was like laughing at us because she doesn't like indian food and she's not working today and we didn't invite her because we know she doesn't like indian food so she was like laughing she's so annoying anyways um we are gonna get a takeaway instead but yeah i cut my hair yesterday and i've probably posted the video on tiktok make sure you follow me on tiktok guys um but yeah i am yeah i'm done now i need to put my hair up let me just put my hair up as i'm like rounding up this vlog if i haven't already said it in this vlog guys happy 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 new year i hope that everybody has a wonderful fulfilled and successful year um i feel like last year was so 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 hard for a lot of people um it was definitely hard for me as well i'm starting off the year really really positive like i've cleaned out my space i've been cleaning over the past like few days 
and also i've like sorted out my wardrobe i have a bunch of clothes that i'm taking to my mom's house because she's gonna take them all to nigeria like i said before guys if my mom doesn't take stuff to nigeria she will not be okay so she literally specifically instructed me to make sure that i actually take all my clothes all the clothes that i'm not going to be wearing anymore although i was going to donate them to charity because i don't i'm not into like selling my clothes on like vintage and all these other like places um i'd rather just give it to charity um a lot of them actually had like they still have like the tags on some clothes that i bought and just never wore so these are all the clothes that i am um, basically taking to my mum's there's this one even has a tag like i haven't worn it like just so many of them and this one too i haven't worn it like it's still got the tag on so many clothes like this um that i'll be taking i don't blame my mom for like taking clothes to nigeria like she'll give them to people who are obviously less privileged so i'm happy about i'm, I'm happy to donate my clothes obviously it's not a big deal i am gonna go now um thank you so much guys for watching this vlog thank you so much guys for always tuning in with me i want to be a bit more consistent this year i feel like i really i really tried last year with like the vlogs and stuff and like it was actually debbie crown that um encouraged me to vlog more um last year so i'm really grateful for that and i've actually really enjoyed vlogging and one thing i love about vlogging is like i'll watch back my vlogs and i think oh my god i've actually done so much like and i sometimes you forget the things that you've done and like when i watch my vlogs it reminds me of like how much i do in my life so yeah i'm really really happy i hope to keep doing the vlogs i'm gonna i'm definitely gonna keep vlogging and um yeah just vlogging more and just trying to stay positive and yeah and just keep you guys updated on my life i feel like you guys have been riding with me for so so long and i love the fact that you guys actually stay consistent with my content um that really does make me happy i'm just so grateful to you guys and i hope that we all have a wonderful wonderful year guys do not forget to subscribe you know all the good stuff make sure you comment like subscribe and also share the video make sure you tag me when you're watching and i will see you guys in my next one bye guys